Alright, what's for one proper update finder here, and today we're gonna be playing some more killing uh, Flora 2. Well then boys, Tidal Terror, yep, this is gonna be the summer update for, well yeah, this year. So yeah, let's go through the boring stuff first, and then we're gonna be hopping into the new map called the Rig, and we're gonna be checking out all of the four new weapons this update has to offer. So yeah, Tidal Terror, yep, you're gonna be getting your standard seasonal objectives, you know, not the best tourist. Kill 1500 Zeds, complete the weekly on rig, complete 100 waves on rig, yeah, this is gonna take a while. Throw 50 Zeds to the sea on rig, and complete wave 15 on endless hard or higher difficulty on rig. And then you're gonna be getting yourself a deep sea trident. Ah, yeah, this is probably just another backpack, isn't it? I mean, I don't think this is a new weapon, because they didn't say anything about the new weapons, so in pieces we may rest. I mean, just imagine if this is actually a weapon. Highly doubted, but it's probably a backpack. So yeah, four new weapons are gonna be in this update, which are going to be the Crossboom, the Zed Hunter, the Sentinel, and the Reducto Ray. If you guys want to try out the DLC weapons, yep, I'm just gonna post the command in the description. Okay, let's just get the HRGs out of the way. So I'm just gonna enable cheats, and yeah, this is gonna be the HRG Head Hunter. So this thing is gonna be weighing 7 kilograms, and to my understanding, primary fire shoots infected darts that inflates the Zed's heads. The alt fire triggers a brain hemorrhage and they will most likely die. Okay, I'm just gonna exaggerate this weapon and I'm just gonna fully- wait, what the- Oh, this actually looks a little bit different, so props to that. Okay, let's just see what this head hunter is gonna be doing. Okay, this rig map is actually, well, yeah, not that bad looking, to be honest. And it is actually optimal. Okay, what does this shit do? I mean, it obviously bashes. Hey, yo. I mean, I don't think this is gonna be, like, used at all. It's more like gimmicky than anything else. But how does this shit work exactly? Boy. I mean, I can pretty much just like pop the Zed's heads. Oh god. Is this thing worth it? Maybe, possibly. No, oh, and I don't have the ammunition to pop their heads, the fuck. Okay, there we go. So yeah, this thing, you pretty much get the point of it. Yeah, you just... Will I inflate their heads a little bit? I mean, it's gonna be like an easier target. The damage on it doesn't seem that great. It's pretty much just like a supporting weapon, which the sharpshooter... I don't think he needs, but if he just gets stunned and not killed... Oh yeah, this thing's gonna be... Well, yeah, not that great, I do have a feeling. Maybe for the survivalist, though. My man just got stunned, and that's it. The fuck. Okay, freeze, Granata. But what's the aim? Oh, what the fuck's the aim? Okay, just a second, what the hell's the aim? Okay, I don't know who the hell is gonna be aiming with this thing. I mean, if you're one of them, let yourself be known, because I'm actually quite curious. And I just, like, missed them point blank. I mean, what the fuck, fam? Okay, I do want to try it out on a fleshy punt, or let's say a skrek. Let's give it a fighting chance. Okay, here we have a skrooky skrook. Okay, I'm just gonna kill you, because you're gonna get annoying. Okay, I can stun him, though. I mean, I guess. Okay, let's just do it without the stunning. Maybe good? Possibly? I mean, the shit is in solo, so... Okay, let's just try it with a flesh bound. Okay, doesn't seem to be doing... Well, yeah, all that much. How does the alt fire even work? Okay, kill them, it did the alt fire. But yeah, I mean, this thing, first impressions, yeah, it's... Kinda cool, but will I use it? Probably not, maybe on the survivalist. But yeah, now we're gonna be checking out the demolitionist with the HRG cross boom fam. Okay, let's see what this shit does. Primary fire shoots a bolt that explodes after impacting. Secondary fire bolt also makes an explosion that makes less damage but has a bigger size. Okay. Hey, it's a crossbow with a skin on it, Lego. Okay, so this thing... Okay, it does have, like, a little timer on it, so that's probably not that bad. Okay, alt fire is... a stun? I'm guessing that was a stun. So, on my demolitionist, yeah, I do like to use these two skills instead of these two. I know a lot of people just go all left side and that's it. Oh, it is a quarter punt, what the... oh. Hey, yo, this thing's actually... Oh, it, like, 
sticks in his freaking head. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Okay, what's the old part on this? Yeah, it's pretty much a stun. I can see myself using this, maybe not as much as, you know, the freaking kaboom stick, because that thing's, well, yeah, the best weapon in the game, I do believe. Dude, I like the effect when, you know, the arrow just, like, sticks in the Z. I mean, look at this shit. Even when he's dead. Did you see that? A bo okay, I guess no boy for you then. Yeet. Okay, I do love that. You know, attention to detail. Trip War Saber, are you stepping up? Question mark. Boy. Yeah, this thing... I mean, if you get the cross boom in like a corridor... Yeah, I can see the shit working... Kinda good. I mean, look at this. Spear his freaking head off. And Scooter's... Yeah, just do an alt fire. It does have like a lot of ammunition as well, which is... Pretty, pretty dope. Okay, fidget spinner, of course, you're not dope. Okay, first impressions. Yeah, I much rather, well, yeah, have this weapon over the, the head hunter thing. I mean, that thing was... I mean, it did something, but... Oh, I mean, I do love explosions, though. Yeah, this thing's just insane. Pidor, get explode, boy. Yep, my man just pushed me down the stairs. That was not nice. Dude, I love... How we just like spears them, it's just so nice. Spooder. It's just like a pretty much like a stun. Wait, does it stun a Skrook? Okay, Skrook is Skrook. Okay, it doesn't stun the Skrook, which is a little bit well, yeah, disappointing. I mean, it does knock him down with you know the normal fire. But yeah, I man, honestly, fair enough, this thing was like fully upgraded on solo, but I can kind of see this thing being used for trash. But at the same time, we do have the kaboom stick, so. But yeah, crossboom actually pleasantly surprised. I mean, it's not that bad. First impressions, I mean, just wait until I get. Well, yeah, more playtime with this thing. Okay, now we're gonna be heading into the juicy stuff with the commando, and we're gonna be trying out the sentinel. Okay, so you can actually have five sentinels at once, and you can upgrade these things the fuck, and they don't even like weigh all that much, so you can pretty much have, well, yeah, the HM Tech 401 or the FN Fall or just the M16 with nothing that great. I mean, fair enough, you probably don't even need to upgrade these things. Okay, let's just see what they do. Okay, I do want to try something. If you put one down... Hey, yo, that's actually sick. He doesn't actually move around, he's just like a stationary turret. I mean, that's in his name. So, if I want to put down another one... Yeah, my man exploded, so you can only have like one drone on the map at once. I don't know exactly if... Well, yeah, another dude is playing the commander. And, you know, he has the drone. Does that mean your drone blows up? Not entirely sure. But, yeah, you can only have one drone at once. Oh, my man just... is slapping chicks. Hey, this is actually sick. It does have, like, a nice little freaking range as well. Oh, you're missing shots, fam. Well, what are you doing? I mean, his damage is not... Well, yeah, that great, but... Are you seeing this shit? This is actually sick. It just reminds me of freaking Z-Fest, you know, just like placing down traps. So yeah, a lot of people are concerned about... How should I say? Well, yeah, this thing stealing slow motion. Oh, and it's already glowing red. Does that mean it's dead? I mean, probably. It doesn't have a hitbox. It doesn't. Oh, and this thing's not shooting at all anymore, so I do believe it's time for... Another one. Oh yeah, you go ham, Adam. Yeah, his damage is not even all that great. I mean, it's pretty much just killing like one bloat for freaking ages. It's more for just clots and stuff like that. I mean, kind of cool though. We do have like something different in a long ass freaking what was that? Was that it? Okay, my man actually went a little bit faster than I anticipated. Okay, it. Go get them, boy. I mean, you're getting them slower than I thought you were gonna be getting them, but... I mean, at least it killed a spooder. That's always nice. Quarter punt. Not today. Another quarter punt. It's kind of cool that you can have your own bodyguard, so to say. You know, just to, like, cover your flank. Oh, you just got shot at a freaking pego. 
Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna replace you, fam. There you go. But can you shoot up? Oh, my man shoots up. Wait, I thought they said you it doesn't rage anything. Why did you rage him? No, already, man. So yeah, this is the new DLC weapon. If you can call this shit a weapon, it's a drone. I mean, it would be actually cool if you could just, you know, place one here. Or place one here, you know, just cover all flanks. But I guess that would be OP, maybe, possibly. But as you saw, I mean, my man didn't even kill a bloat in time. But yeah, I do need to, like, tinker with this dude a little bit more. You know, just to be sure. I Personally, first impressions, yeah, kind of cool. You know, it's actually something different to, you know, the usual... Well, yeah, stuff we were getting. But yeah, by the way, the map. Yeah, the map's not even all that half bad. I mean, it's pretty much the same shit as on the workshop. But the atmosphere is a little bit more... Well, yeah, ocean-like. Okay, now we're gonna be moving on to the survivalist. And something that they actually change with the survivalist. You can now pick your starting weapon. I mean, obviously, I'm just gonna go for the HX. Because this is the best starting weapon. Right next to the cock and burn. But I do prefer my HX grenade pistol. And you can also shuffle through a bunch of nades. You can have a high explosive one, frag nade, medic grenade. This is probably gonna be the best one everyone's gonna pick. Then you have the nail bomb flashbang and a random grenade. I mean, it would be cool if you could have the freeze nade, but I mean, what's the point in the sharpshooter then? But yeah, that's not what we're testing out on the survivalist today. We're gonna be testing out the reducto ray. And yep, here it freaking is. So yeah, this thing is gonna be weighing five kilograms and you can upgrade it two times, which is gonna be a tier three weapon, I do believe. And this is strictly a survivalist weapon. I mean, it looks cool. Let's see the animations on it. Alrighty, man. Uh-huh, a little bit of the spin. Very, very nice. Okay, what does it do? Opa! Oh, no, that's some slick-ass animations, my dudes. So, yeah, it doesn't have, like, an alt-fire and sprinting animation. I'm not that bad, let's say. So, yeah, let's see what this thing does. So, apparently, it's just gonna be shrinking zeds into oblivion until they like pop yep that's exactly what this shit does okay this is gonna be cool when you reach like freaking slow motion or something oh bloat okay it does take like a freaking while to do something though boy it, it's cool for you know this just wipe zeds out of freaking existence make him freaking explode but, I mean, is it actually useful? You know, as a DLC weapon for 10 bucks. I mean, if you want to have, like, a little bit of fun with this thing, I mean, go ahead and buy it, but I personally don't see much of a point in it, to be completely honest. I mean, it is freaking fun, though, just, like, shooting a freaking beam and just shrinking the Zed's boy. Yeah, not that bad. And fair enough, this thing is, like, fully upgraded, by the way. And it does take quite a while to do something. Okay, let's see how long it takes for the scrake. Yep, yeah, nearly a full magazine. What about the quarter punt? Ow. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna be, well, yeah, all that great. Okay, that's stunning because I do have the scale on, so that's very nice. It's gonna be cool for that. At least, oh, many freaking core bones. I mean, maybe I'm just, like, using it wrong, but I don't see a point in it, like I said. Is this shit gonna be gimmicky? Probably. Okay, I do have, like, the healing nades. Oh my god, the luxury fam. Wait, do I actually... Okay, so if I pick weapon harness, does that mean I can still have the healing nade? No, I cannot. But at least I get, like, a freaking flashbang, though, so that's... Nice, oh, that's a flesh wound, and I'm out of ammunition, hmm. Yeah, the reducto ray, this thing, meh. Yeah, I just need to, like, refill this shit, because I ran out of ammunition. Realistically, you're not gonna be using this weapon, you know, just only this weapon. You're gonna be having, like, something else alongside. Yeah, this is not doing anything. I mean, it's doing something just so slow that it's just painful to... Will I just sit here and just beam the dude? I do wonder if it works on bosses though. But it's probably just gonna be dog shit for bosses. Oh, screwy screw. What's up, my dude? I wonder if headshotting him actually. Will it does something? 
Oh, he's a bouquet, the clown. Spend freely. Honestly, you guys can let me know, is this thing gonna be useful in any situation? Because I don't think it's gonna be, I mean, I'd much rather just use a freaking kaboom stick or M79 or... Well, yeah, you name it. Okay, let's just use the Reductoray with the cross boom. Upgrade the shit to full. And can I have another new weapon? Yeah, I can actually get the freaking Sentinels. This is... Yep, kinda cool. But yeah, this is basically what this update is all about. One new map, four new weapons. You know, some slight changes to the survivalist, which are... Or should I say, which were long awaited. And we also got a new weekly outbreak, which I'm gonna be playing quite, quite soon. So stay tuned for that. Ow. Okay, let's see if this shit does anything to the fucking boss. Oh, it actually is shrinking it. A very cool. Ow. Okay, can I like shrink you directly out of existence? Probably not, right? Nope, I'm just shrinking them and that's it. And yeah, that's just gonna probably hit me again. But yeah, I'm in the reductor, Ray. I do believe it's just gonna be more of like a distraction to, you know, the teammates. If nothing else, Mage Fjörk, I swear to God. Oh, I'm stuck on fences. Okay, time to head down, I guess. Oh boy. Ow. Yeah, there's not a lot of room to just run and kite around. Okay, I should probably throw this shit down. Maybe it's gonna do something. What's the damage? It's doing jack shit! The fuck, Sentinel, I upgraded your sorry ass, what are you doing? I mean, he's kinda helping with just being there. It's like a freaking distraction or something. Okay, let's just shrink her again. Screw it. I mean, they basically just like whipped out the tiny terror. How to say, well, yeah, little Zeds and just like implemented it on. Well, yeah, weapon, that was pretty much it. Okay, Sentinel, go. Yeah, you go get him, boy. But, yeah, man, the only useful weapon I can see out of the bunch is going to be this freaking cross boom. I mean, just look at this thing. It's just absolutely kind of demolishing the matriarch. Not really, though. Because I'm not the demolitionist. Ow. No, I'm getting e -dard. Left, right, and center. Ooh. Okay, I'm just gonna shrink your sorry, as then. Oh, here we go. She's gonna stun you. Because that's what I can do. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. And I need to reload this shit now. It's not nice. Found a good kiting spot at least. Gidar. Get away, why is the matriarch on this side? Ooh! Yep, totally forgot the shit turns invisible now. I can just like run away from her. What am I doing? This thing... It's just doing bare minimum damage, which is not... That great. And the cross boom. Yeah, this is my type of weapon. Oh, please, just... Oh, no. They actually got her here. Well then, boys, this was pretty much my first impressions on the entire update. Yep, the map is actually not too bad to play on. It is gonna be a community map, which means... Well, yeah, most of you probably played it before, but... It's not that bad. So, yeah, first impressions on the new weapons. Yeah, they're pretty... I don't want to say mediocre, but... Interesting. The best weapon out of all of these, I do must say, is most likely the cross boom. At least currently. Well then, boys, this is gonna be pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, then be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and see you guys next episode. Adios.